Unlock series episode four, Kibble from Crooks on the handrail. We got a we got a windy day on our hands, so I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do. What I had planned might not work since it's so windy today, but we're gonna try and get something done anyway. We're gonna take this one to the handrail. And we're gonna do Kibble from Crooks. Kibble from Crooks have always been one of my favorite tricks to do. Honestly, uh, I do them a bunch. They were kind of always a go-to of mine, like at a contest or street leagues or any of that stuff. Like I would always try to incorporate Kibble from Crooks somewhere. They usually work pretty easy easily for me. But the last time I tried a cable front crook on a handrail, like in the streets, I actually didn't make it. I tried it for a while. It was, it was in a line. I was doing like a switch 180 down some stairs and then cable front crook uh, the rail. It was kind of a taller, shorter rail. So it was a bit different, but I thought it was going to work and it, it didn't. I think I could have had it. It started to get dark and stuff and I didn't really have all the time in the world to... Uh, to try it because it got dark so it's kind of like a little redemption for me i know this is not in the streets i know this is at the skate park but the last time i i don't even remember the last time i killed front crook the down rail i think it's a good one for the unlock series maybe do it on the ledge a few times kill front crook so i get the flip ins feeling right and then uh we'll take it to the handrail see how it goes just got over to the ledge i don't know if you guys can see this but it's pretty damn wet i'm gonna go find a t-shirt or something see if i have anything in my car to kind of dry this off with and then we can get to warm it up get the ledge tricks going kill front crooks going on the ledge so we're feeling cozy for the rail anything you ever take to the handrail you want to make sure you have on either ledges or flat bars like on lock or at least you know really comfortable with them that's what we're gonna do here i'm gonna get like maybe at least two cable front crooks on the ledge and then we'll take it over and uh start start seeing how it goes on the handrail all right we found an old t-shirt chilling in the whip that i have not seen in ages so it'll be perfect for drying off this ledge Looking much better. We got the, well, we got half the ledge, the half the ledge that we need dry, we got dry. That should do it. Let's get some cable front crooks in, see how they're working today. Hopefully they're working good. So what I usually like to do for cable front crooks is I like to come up at, to come up at like a, an angle as if I'm, I'm, I'm literally almost kick flipping just straight into the crook. So you don't really have to like kick flip and then turn. It's more of a kick flip like straight into the, into the crook. And then you find the pinch spot and you kind of lean over the board on your toes and get like the little pop out, you know? So that's basically how I go about it. I kind of just angle myself to kick flip straight into the crook. It allows you to just do less. I also hope the wind isn't completely f***ing this audio. The wind is so bad right now, bro. So I'm hoping I can even get this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a few uh, kick flip front crooks. Also, now that I think about it, I feel like I never just front crook this ledge. I usually nollie front crook it or cable front crook it. I, I rarely ever ollie into front crooks. I find them easier if I put on something taller and I can ollie up into it. So that's why I never kind of, I never front crook this ledge because it's like normal ledge height, which is weird for front crooks for me sometimes. So we got some regular front crooks in, some cable front crooks in. These took me a little bit just because of the wind, I think, man. The wind factor was pretty sh Hopefully the audio is okay. I did get a new microphone with like a wind thingy. So hopefully the audio is a little bit better for you guys. Um, Cause that was one, one complaint, not complaint, but that was like one thing I was uh, getting a lot of comments about. Like the audio wasn't that great. And I agree. And I had to do a lot of work with the audio in editing and to make it sound like decent. Hopefully this mic helps a little bit. The wind's probably gonna be a little bit of a factor in the audio either way. But all right, we're up here at the handrail, man. One key thing about skating rails is like, you always kind of have to pop. You pop and you look at like where you're gonna get on in the rail. So for me, it's like close to that second bar, like the middle bar there. That's usually where I get into my grind, or that's at least the point I think I do. You get in in the middle, the rail's actually not as tall as it looks. You know what I'm saying? You're actually skating something kind of lower. You kind of gap out to the rail just a little bit, not too much, cause that could be a little, that could be sketchy, but it's the right amount to where it's like you have time to get onto the rail. You don't try and get on at the top or anything like that. And then when you're flipping, you flip out to it. Up and you kick flip. Kick flip like into the rail, you know what I'm saying? I have not done this in a while. I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some warm ups on, some front boards and 50s and then front side crooks and kind of go from there and build myself up to keep a front crook. Let's get a front side crook. When I miss this trick, I usually know that I'm gonna kind of miss this way and get into a front side no slide. I feel like that's the safer way to miss. The scariest miss is when you go over too far. 
that shit is sketch. And I try to avoid that by making sure I stay more on this side so that if I do miss, I just get into a front nose and kind of slide it down. for not skating rails that, that much lately, I, I'm gonna take that. That was I'm with that. Keep looping into the rail is kind of where learning how to bail comes in comes into being a factor. The first couple tries here, you'll see I kind of just flick a little bit and then I just place my foot on the rail. It's almost like a test. Like I just kind of, I flick a little bit, but I know I'm not gonna get into the crook. And I kind of just place my foot on top of the rail and jump to the bottom. And that's like keeping me safe, you know what I mean? I might do that a few times, get a little comfortable with it and then start really trying to, to, to place the crook in there. I feel like doing that technique with kind of any flip trick really like into a rail just builds confidence a lot because you know that like anything goes wrong you kind of know how to bail it or you can kind of tiptoe your way into the trick. I feel like it helps me a lot. I don't know if it helps everybody a lot but it definitely helps me. Right, let's get it. I'm gonna start flicking into this thing. in, flicks down. Ah, being a bitch, man. So what happens when you don't do it every day. Ah. Make contact. So that's the way you can kind of build yourself up by like flicking in and, and, and getting closer and closer to actually putting it in front crook and then just one just putting it in, you know, and jumping to the bottom. Kind of tiptoe your way into it a little bit. It helps build confidence. I'll tell you what though, since going this way, one thing that hasn't been a factor is the wind. It's been fine. Where you get in on this rail is actually really low, but you still have quite a bit to grind. So it's kind of this weird, you go slow and because where you want to get in better, a better height, you have a lot of rail to grind. Well, I spoke too soon about the wind not being a factor. It just blew my whole freaking camera over, dude. I had to reset everything back up. Hopefully everything's still intact, man. I don't know. All right, I got everything all set back up. I feel like I need to find something to put on the tripod. I mean, I, I widened the base a little bit now, so hopefully it doesn't blow over again, but... Back in it. Put one in. Let's get it. Can't get too comfy with bailing. That's the problem. You gotta keep it in your head that you gotta put one in. Get some water, man. It's been a minute. We got the kill front crook, though. Honestly, I'm, I'm, 
a little bit proud of myself, I'm not going to lie, because the last time I tried that on a handrail, I definitely did not make it. I kind of got, I don't want to say I got robbed. I mean, I, I had enough time to where I should have made it, and I didn't, so that's all me. But uh, that's the first one I've done since then on a rail, and it's just so crazy how rails can be so much different than ledges or even a hubba. I don't really like the hubbas here. The one's like way too big, it's too tall and the other one's too low. So I don't really skate the hubbas here. But if there was a hubba, I would have definitely chosen to do it on the hubba. Like hubbas feel way safer to me. I'm just having to get that lock in, man. Like I kept I kept feeling like the ones I was getting into, I would just fly forward. But it's because I, was, I wasn't getting fully in. I would have like part of my shoe on the rail too. I was kind of missing the nose. I was like, I know I just have to get into one and like, I'll do it. And the second one that grinded down, I made. So it's really just getting the feel for it, bringing it back, getting confident again. It was a while to bring up confidence. The wind was definitely a factor, but it wasn't as big of a factor that I thought it was going to be because I was going with the wind. So I didn't really feel it. Skating the ledge, the wind affected me more, honestly, because it was going the opposite way. I'm stoked, man. I got it. It was the first kill front crook on a handrail I've done in a minute. Would I say I have this trick on lock? Hell no. On a ledge? Yeah. But they're, they're, I consider them two different tricks, you know? But it's good to, to, to do it again. I, I do not have this trick on lock. I know a lot of people were like kind of confused with what these videos are about. And it's about me, like, it's about me seeing if I have it on lock, right? So if I would have done it like three tries, I'd be like, yeah, I do have cable front crooks on the rail on lock. You know what I'm saying? Since it took so long, like, no, I don't. But it's about me finding out and finding out how, how uh, quickly and how confident I am with the trick that I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? That's what these videos are about. I'm not saying I have every single trick on lock. You know, that's obviously not true. But it's just about seeing how, how, difficult these tricks are for me but yeah this was a fun one man bringing it back to the on lock series it's been a minute keep the ideas coming for me what, what videos you want to see leave them in the comments below any ideas you guys have I, I love to hear it and it helps me think of new videos to work on i hope any tips i gave through the video helped you guys too with learning this trick or getting more confident in rails and uh i definitely want to do kind of more of a rail based video where the tricks might not be as difficult but it's more just overall talking about rails let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below uh this was on lock series episode four i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one peace yo